Hello everyone, this is Axel from MobileSource.com and uh, today we're at CES Las Vegas and I'm going to go hands-on with the Xperia Z uh, recently announced by Sony. Let's have a look at the specs first. So this is a nice, nice piece of uh, hardware with a 5-inch reality display, mo mobile Bravia Engine 2, uh, Jesus, wires, uh, <laughs> screen with a 1920 per uh, 1080 Full HD resolution. Uh, it has a 13 megapixel camera on the back with Exmor Air or sorry and yep, I don't know the specs by heart sorry about that um, with a 2 megapixel front camera and a quad core processor 2 gig of RAM 16 gig of uh, memory with a micro SD slot and uh, yeah that's basically it um, one thing though the design is really beautiful and you're gonna see that in a few seconds but it's also water resistant and dust protected it's certified EP uh, IP55 and uh, IP57. So that's pretty. That's pretty slick. So here is uh, the front camera here with a few a uh, few captors uh, just on the right. We got the touch screen buttons like you have on most devices since uh, ICS. And I say most devices, but it's not really the case. But now you have this on most devices. On the right you have the on-off button, unlock button, which is kind of weird, but uh, really easy to use because it's well you see, yeah, you can use it pretty uh, easily because it's, it's going out of the device like that. It's pretty good, pretty good. Pretty weird as an on-off button, but uh, I like it. And you have the volume button just below it. When you hold it on the, on, with your right hand, it's pretty low. Uh, the button here is pretty low to, to grab, but you, I think you can get used to it. Nothing here. On the left you get a few connectors for dock I believe and here is the micro SD slot and here is the micro USB slot. They're both protected by uh, this little thingy because it's uh, certified, uh, IP certified. It's not really handy you know when you use it but it's, it's really water resistant, dust resistant so that's how it, um, that's how it is. And here is the jack 3.5 millimeters and uh, that's basically it the camera 13 megapixel and uh, the back the back is glass uh, which is which is really beautiful actually it's, it's quite beautiful in black it looks like this with uh, you know all the you know uh, you can leave a few marks with your fingers but uh, that's okay and on the white version it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty nice pretty nice looking and uh, I mean it's a it's a pre premium device when you hold it, it you really feel like it's you know really quality it's well made uh, the back is really yeah, it feels good when you have it in your hand so I like it a lot um, let's have a quick look at the interface you have the music player here quick access and quick access access to the camera, you can take a picture really fast and launch the, um, the recording of the video uh, in, the same, uh, in the same interface, which is uh, something quite new for Sony. I know that's something that HTC has been doing for a few months, like years now, at least one year. And uh, that's pretty new for Sony. You got the home screen here with a. It's like a new version of the um, of the um, UI that Sony has been using on most of his uh, its mobile phones running Android. You get here quick access to different settings. Pretty handy. Let's have a look at the uh, version number. Oops, not here. Here. Okay, it's 4.1.2. Uh, what else? 
It's pretty nice looking actually, it's really nice looking where you can slide to the sides like this. Uh, the multi the multitask is that way with uh, the usual you know system and those apps that are called small apps, you can launch them and they just they're right there and you can you know put them when you where you want, close it. It's pretty handy. You've got notes. Uh, you get notes, you get the, um, the calculator, you get the clock, uh, the uh, recorder, voice recorder, like this. It's nice looking, and when a small app is opened, you can still use the device and do whatever you want. That's, uh, that's nice. In the main menu, you have uh, all your app, apps. You can uh, filter them uh, alphabet. Uh, you can you know, filter, sort them alphabet alphabetical uh, order, most used, etc. Stuff like this. You can search for apps. Uh, what else? The Walkman app, which is actually the music player, which looks a lot like uh, what you have on a phone like the Xperia S running uh, ICS. Pretty nice looking interface. Got the album. You know, with different filters, pictures here, you can pinch to zoom, you know, to show the, the thumbnails in a, in a bigger size. It's really fast and uh, the screen itself is uh, it's quite beautiful. I mean, the pictures here are nice pictures, so, you know, it's quite easy to, to look beautiful, but it looks really good. It looks really good for sure. And the colors are still, you know, are still good, even if you change the uh, view angle, stuff like that. So, this Bravi engine, uh, touch screen looks, looks nice. We'll see that in the full review. And then you get the movie app. If you want to play different videos. Pretty fast, nice uh, UI too. And you've got the compatibility with PlayStation Mobile, but uh, unfortunately we don't have any internet right now, so it's not going to work. And that's basically it um, for now. Um, the Xperia Z looks like a really, really nice device. I like the design a lot. I like the specs. It's a pretty powerful device. Um, I like the fact that it's uh, certified, uh, protected to from water and dust. And uh, the new UI looks really good. Looks really good, and uh, I'm looking forward to reviewing that device.